Hello and welcome to JP's Garage Show. I'm JP and today I'm doing a pretty straightforward video. Um, my kitchen cutting board has been all grimy. It's got some burn marks on it. It's even got some paint on it for some reason. And the ends are falling off. So we're going to go ahead and fix it up, make it just like new. This is the other side. I'm going to put a finish on there and everything. It's going to be nice. Um, but first... I finally got t-shirts, smoking hot t-shirts, get them while they're hot. We got white, we got blue, red, every color you can imagine. Get one, get five extra, just in case you need one for you know every work day of the week. So uh, appreciate the support. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Let's get to it. So first I'm gonna pry off the ends of, both ends, cause I'm just gonna re-glue them back together and scrape all this grime off on the end, whatever adhesive they had when they first made the thing. Get all that gunk out of there. You don't really want that stuff in there anyways because it's all food and extra gunk that just collected over the years. This thing literally hasn't been cleaned in like probably five, ten plus years. And I mean, I've washed it. That's not the issue. I'm just talking about like refinish it, because you know I'm not a I'm not a caveman. Of course, I wash it after I use it. I don't want to get sick. But you know, every once in a while, you gotta just you know clean it up. And so sorry about the angle on some of these takes. Uh, didn't really get good shots on some of them, but uh, you know, you can still see what's going on. I'm just sanding in the cracks and uh, whatever's going to be re glued back to the board. So, get all the adhesive off of the ends of this thing, the handles, before we re glue it. Tight Bond 3 Premium Wood Glue. And I'm, I'm putting all sorts of glue up in there because we don't want this thing to come apart for another 20 years. So we're gonna try to glue it as much as we can, spread it all around, get every little nook and cranny. Now apply a little bit to the ends. Generous amount here. And we're gonna kind of center it as best we can using this hammer to kind of get it in a good spot. And now you can go ahead and clamp it up with these clamps. Uh, I got these at Harbor Freight for like seven bucks a clamp, pretty cheap, and they do the trick. So, 
wipe up all the glue make sure there's not a whole lot to sand off after you're done here Okay, now it's all dry and ready for the clamps to get out of there and now we're going to sand it with, uh, I think I did 40 grit sandpaper. We're just taking like the top layer off of there all together. Of course there's going to be some cuts still in there, it's a cutting board. I'm not going to sand it down all the way until there's no more cuts because that would just take forever. Uh, so I'm just getting, you know. Top layer of grime off there, the old nasty wood, some of that extra glue that came out of the sides, and uh, whatever paint was on there, and burn marks, you know, the classic forget the cutting board on the stove mistake, if you will. Just get all that stuff off of there. Oh, there it is, yeah. You see, sand it away. Now I will say that like this project is uh, really easy, like anyone can do this, your grandma can do this, so maybe she's got an old grimy cutting board that you want to finish up for, for Christmas or for her birthday, go ahead and do that, take care of her, or show her the video, she can take care of herself, she doesn't even really need a power sander, like you can do this with one of those blocks for like five bucks at the store just hand sand it right you don't have to go out and buy a new cutting board that slides right in above your drawers just go ahead and uh, finish it up yourself that's why we call this DIY do it yourself y'all all right Now I'm just sanding every little nook and cranny on this thing, get it nice and smooth. Um, the ends were a little misshapen, so I just figured I'd sand them down, make them nice and flat, kind of make it look like it's brand new again. So you see that little crack on the end there? We're gonna just sand this flat a little bit. Not completely, but you know, make it look fresh and nice. So do that and then uh, and then it's time for uh, a finer grit of sandpaper to make it even smoother. So I did 180 here as a final kind of sand down. And now it's time to get some cutting board oil. Now this stuff is the finish. It's food safe. You're gonna rub it in and it's going to protect the board a little bit and uh, do a nice little finish. And uh, so put that on and then wait 24 hours and then we are good to go. You have a brand new cutting board right there. Minus the cuts from previous use, of course, but uh, still a lot fresher than it was before, so there we go. Alright, and I've waited 24 hours, and now I've got this nice and fresh cutting board. Both of the ends are on it, 
it's nice and smooth it's just all around ready for cutting so uh, like I said guys anybody can do this so go ahead and try it out yourself on your cutting board and uh, let me know how it goes in the comments check that out and don't forget to like and subscribe and if you like the content that I'm putting on here I'm very much appreciate it if you go ahead and pick up one of these t-shirts here at Amazon and thanks so much for supporting the channel guys I'll see you soon in another video